Hi, this is Paula Bernier of TMC. I'm here at IT Expo in Las Vegas with Chris Gray. He's Director of Embedded and IoT at Red Hat. Welcome, Chris. Great. Thanks, Paula. It's nice to be here. Um, so, uh, everybody knows who Red Hat is. What they may not know is uh, what the company is doing related to the Internet of Things. Can you talk a bit about the uh, strategy and the product set that Red Hat is bringing to IoT? Yeah, absolutely. So, one of the things that we found at Red Hat is that a lot of the customers bringing kind of their next generation problems to us actually did uh, end up kind of going after these IoT type solutions. And so when you have large companies like the railroads or the major telcos coming to us, they were actually asking about how to use our products in an IoT setting. And what we found is that a lot of our existing middleware technologies and specifically things uh, enabling lightweight messaging and business rules management, business rules execution, as well as real-time decision making, et cetera, were very applicable into the IoT space and helped customers to solve these next generation IoT uh, problems that they've been facing. So Red Hat's really taken in some intentional steps to help us get better at positioning and messaging the capabilities of our products towards the IoT and the solutions that are required to, to meet that space. And when you kind of couple that with the enterprise gauge security and reliability that Red Hat Enterprise Linux has always been known for, that really provides a very rich solution set that our customers can use in architecting these solutions. And I understand that you are participating in a panel here at IT Expo this week. Can you talk a little bit about uh, what the subject matter of the panel is and, and what some of the key takeaways are? Sure. So we're speaking in the real-time data integration panel uh, later today. And the, the big trend that we're seeing and that we're highlighting during this panel is essentially around this transition that we're seeing between a two-tier and a three-tier architecture. So in a consumer world, IoT was very much focused around a two-tier architecture, meaning that the device connected directly to the cloud or to some, you know, to some type of data center. And that works in a consumer world because typically the consumer pays for the bandwidth and you don't have to make decisions that quickly. You know, if you change the, the uh, temperature setting on your Nest thermostat, if it takes a couple minutes to do that, no big deal. Mm -hmm. When you're talking in enterprise setting, those dynamics change greatly. So all of a sudden you have to worry about security and reliability in a much more comprehensive fashion. You also have to take and make decisions much faster. Right? You can imagine the, the damage that would occur if you had an under voltage sensor on, a, on an electrical grid that had to go all the way back to the data center to make a decision. Right? Those minutes that it would take that decision to be made would, would allow billions of dollars worth of damage to, to occur to that electrical grid. And when you kind of combine that with all the other requirements that we uh, see around bandwidth constraints and the cost of that bandwidth, they're really, what we see is companies are really trying to minimize the transmission of data through something that we call near-field processing. And that's, that concept of near-field processing is really where Red Hat can help our customers meet those, uh, you know, meet those problems head-on. Great. Well, thank you so much. Uh, again, TMC and Red Hat coming at you from IT Expo in Vegas. Great. Thank you, Paula.